Hi everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you had a great week. So if you're new here, I'm Melanie and I do food hauls and other bits and pieces. I've done the weekly food shopping from Asda and Tesco. At Asda I spent £41.5 and at Tesco I spent originally £106.7 which shocked me but then obviously I used my Tesco card, club card and it came down to 89.31 so I saved 16.76 and there's a husky who's not going to get anything um I've got the torch on because it's obviously it's about six o'clock um I think and it's dark outside so I know the last couple of weeks I've not done two parts of shopping I've done one part and I've not put the second part up last week I just did not feel up to filming it it was late at night there's a lot of stuff going on I'm being harassed by my neighbours um, who have been committing crimes against me as well and the police are not doing anything about it um, but it is going to be coming out so um, I've been under a lot of pressure but I am determined to do two parts today if this is the first video of mine you've watched I do two parts because when I bring the shopping home I put the chilled stuff in the fridge so I don't have room to get it all out and put it out now so there will be definitely, I'll guarantee there'll be a second part this week. There was a few things missing. You're not having anything. Um, there's three ready meals missing. Was there anything else? Um, the three ready meals are a chicken jar frazy, a braised steak with mash, and a lasagna. I think that's all that's missing from memory. So I've got a bag of carrots. These are price matched to Aldi. I haven't bought Aldi carrots in ages because a lot of Aldi's veg isn't always great. Sometimes it is, but a lot of the time the, it isn't. So I'm going to be making chicken stew. I normally like beef stew. I've never made chicken, so it's going to be interesting. I got some St. U original medium free range eggs. I've still got some of the white ones left that I got last week and the week before. Um, but I wanted to try these. There's another one that I want to try as well. I think they're only 2 50 They look like they're going to cost more. We might get to a problem now because the husk is in my way. Um, chicken ramen, kabuto, noodles. They're an offer for a pound. I really like the chicken ramen ones. Two tins of tuna chunks in spring water. They're 72p but they don't have a ring pull. I'd rather them charge more and put a ring pull on them than have a ring pull. But anything that had a ring pull on was branded and a lot more money whereas if you go to asda you can get cheap ones without ring pulls and their own brand with ring pulls so i'd rather them maybe put them up by 10p or 5p or whatever but put a ring pull on um two packets boxes of panadol you're making it really difficult dog um fry light in sunflower oil has it always been golden sunflower when I get to mine that I've got open, I hope it's sunflower, I'm going to check. But mine's literally got about two squirts left in it. I did forget to put these in the fridge. They were advertised as being one pound. No, you're not having anything. You can't, you've had stuff. No, don't give me that look. I know if I give you something, you still won't go away, will you? Um, it were advertised as a pound, but I'm sure I paid 120 or 130 for them. They should be in the fridge, but I am going to... I wanted to try them because they're meat free. Can you please move? Oh, don't move then. Um, mini spring rolls. No, they're not spring rolls. <laughs> mini rolls. Oh, God. Do you know what? I was thinking of spring because it says roll on Easter and I thought, well, that's spring. Um, they're on offer for a pound. I would never pay full price for them unless I was desperate. Cheese oat cakes. Anything with cheese is not for me except for one thing that you'll see in part two. Mature cheddar and red onion. Tesco finest. Then I got the wheat and white wraps just to have in, just in case. Do you know what? I've been craving bread this week. Um, I had two slices of toast the other day from the bakery. You can get back slices of toast. Um, and I've wanted toast like every day. But I don't want a loaf of bread because we won't go through the loaf of bread. We're not really eating sandwiches at the moment. And now I'm talking about toast. I want toast. Oh, God. So I've got them in case, you know, like sometimes you're like, oh, I wouldn't mind a wrap. Or you can cut them up into like 
cut them in half, half again, half again, and half again. Put them in the air fryer with some fry light and put whatever spices on you want on top, and they're like crisps. So you could do that with them. Um, I got the Lancashire oven bottom, brown oven bottom muffins, and then I got the wholemeal ones. Then I got the latte macchiato sachets. I think I've got one left. I've not been going through them as quickly because I've been drinking branded stuff. But last week when I looked in Asda, they didn't do the Asda original coffee sachets because I like a branded one in the morning, but because I don't want to spend too much money on coffee. I have an unbranded one or Audi, but I've not been to Audi for a few weeks. But when I went to Asda today, they actually had some plain latte sachets and plain cappuccino and one other one. I was like, why didn't I see those last week? Do you know what? I should have got them because I'd got these first because I go to Tesco first, typically. Um, but next week, I'm going to try and remember to get the Asda's cheap ones to try them. I got some Saurian lift bars. I like them, but only when they're on off because I think full price is a bit pricey. Garlic granules because the one I've got open looks almost empty. But I feel like I've got another one. But just in case I didn't, I've got one. I got the Dental Delicious Everyday Chews. I got these last week, didn't I? Avocado 2-pack. The Baker's All Sorts. Ritz Crackers. I got... I know they're upside down. They had 30p off. I mean, they were still expensive, but, you know, better than being full price. I've got two of them. I've already... I didn't buy that today, by the way. These are only 70p. The branded ones were all full price. That's why I got these. But the first time I tried one of these about three weeks ago, I thought it was really good for the money, 70p. I had it before the dog walk, it does actually help. I mean, if you've got a husky, you'll know why you need as much help as you can get. Um, but I do rate them for 70p. They do a plain one as well if you're not into caramel. My conditioner, which has run out. Or is about to run out. Um, Sorry, just got to get something. So I needed to get something. I don't typically get like shampoos and conditioners from the supermarket if I can help it. I will get the odd shampoo for, for like, do you know, like do you have a first wash and a second wash or cleanse, whatever you want to call it. Sometimes I'll get like, what's it called? The Aussie Miracle one. Um, as Like to use as my first wash or something. But I typically do have an expensive shampoo for my second wash because I try to look after my hair because I've had a lot of hair issues with it snapping and breaking. And because I've got long hair, like if like chunks of your hair snaps off, you do have to have it cut a lot shorter. So I do try and look after it. But I've, it's been ages since I've had a cheaper conditioner. This was meant to be £6. I don't know who's paying £6 for it. But it said reduced to clear to 88 but it scanned at £3. So... All of them weren't reduced anyway. I don't know if they're getting rid of it because who's going to pay £6 for herbal essences? I don't know. I don't know if herbal essences is good. I've not used it for years. But I just wanted the conditioner. Now, I will always go for something that's hydrating. And it does smell like coconut. So, it should hopefully be okay. But there are some conditioners that either weigh your hair down or make them frizzy. I've got a husky up right up behind me. I've been getting... <clears throat> the squeezy tube if you watch my videos you'll know i've been getting the one that squeezes it is made out of the thickest plastic ever it's really hard to squeeze it and then you squeeze it it ends up with a bend right in the middle that you can't get out do you know sometimes you squeeze a squeezy bottle and it gets bent you can get the bend out you cannot get the bend out and because it's really thick plastic it then makes it impossible for you to squeeze the bottle anywhere else. So then it's really difficult to get mayonnaise out. So then I'm having to get a knife in there to try and scoop some out. But because it's got a bend in the middle, I can't get to the top of the, the um, what's it called, the bottle. So I'm probably going to end up wasting some of it because I can't get to it. So I was like, do you know what? I'm sick of this. It's the second one it's done it to me on. It's obviously going to be the same on all the bottles because the plastic is just unbelievably thick. I'm going to get the jar next time. But every time I see this in Tesco, I keep misreading the price and I keep thinking it's saying 380 And I'm like, why is it 380 I'm going to have to wait for it to be discounted because even though I like it, I think 380 is a lot of money. Um, and I'm not vegan, by the way. I just prefer this to normal mayo. And also you don't need as much because this actually tastes quite creamy. Um, but when I look today... It's under the wrong one. The one that it should be, 380, is the next size up. Because they do a giant one, 
which in hindsight would work out cheaper, but I might get that next time, but I'm going to have to stick with the jar one. And when I've used some of this, I'm going to cut open, if I can get it cut open, because it's thick plastic, but if I can get it open, what I can scoop out of it, I'll put in this jar, because obviously it's the same thing, but in the jar. So if you're thinking of getting the vegan mayo by Hellman's, which is the best from the supermarket, by the way, because I have tried them all. Well, out of the brands that I can get in my supermarkets, you might be able to get different brands than me. Um, but... Yeah, I've just, I can't have that bottle again. I just can't do it. Now we're on to Asda. So I got the Aventurous Sticks. Then I got these because she likes to get muddy feet. She likes to go in puddles. Apparently Huskies don't like water, but she loves it. And she comes on with these dirty feet and I'm like wiping them with towels, but the, the dirt doesn't fully come off. Try and get her on in the bath. No, there's more chance of me running a marathon in a, an hour. It's not going to happen. So I spotted these, they were 150 I thought they're going to be perfect for days like this. Yeah, she's got dirty feet, I just have to check. Um, So I can just clean her feet, her paws, because they're absolutely black. I think they smell of peach or something. And they've got all sorts in them, like aloe and things like that, and they're antibacterial. So we're going to be giving them a go as soon as I finish filming this. And she's going to hate me, because huskies don't like the front paws being touched because they're super sensitive. But... She can't have dirty paws. Well, she can, but she isn't. Six milk chocolate rice cakes. So, as you know, I normally get the milk chocolate chunks. Spotted these, because I wasn't even going to get muffins, but the aisle was crowded because it's half term with school children. Well, they weren't in school uniforms, but with children. And I had a quick look at other stuff, but I couldn't have a proper look. And I was looking for the chocolate chunk, and I spotted these, because normally it's raspberry white chocolate, and I don't like raspberry. Had one of these when I came in about an hour ago. 10 out of 10. It's got this strawberry like jelly thing. Well, it's not jelly, it's like this sauce in the middle, but low down. And chocolate, white chocolate chunks. It is 10 out of 10 for me. If you like strawberry and white chocolate, you will love that. A Terry's chocolate orange bar, which is not for me because I don't like chocolate orange. Dairy milk little bars. A Swede, like I said, I'm going to make a stew for a couple of days. Um... So it'll be like carrot, sweet potatoes, maybe some peas, um, pearl barley, gravy, onion, chicken. Caramel lattes, they're on offer but not on a great offer. Dumpling mix, could not find that in Tesco. But then again, it's probably in the same section that it's in in Asda. It's in the baking section. I remember, oh, I couldn't find it. And I was like, I'm about to leave the shop. I was in the frozen section. I was like, I know where this is. And it was where... I thought it was so I'll probably use a third of it for myself for my um stew so yeah then I got this if you remember I got a deodorant maybe three weeks ago can I find that deodorant no could I find the toothpaste no so there's a toothpaste and a deodorant somewhere in the house now the toothpaste could have been took by someone else but they wouldn't have took the deodorant can't find it I've looked for it I'm probably going to find it now I've got this but this is my favorite one I was getting that sure one with the melon on which is my second favorite because that is really nice especially on a hot day you're walking the dog and you like you're really hot and then you're walking along and you're moving your arms and you can smell it potatoes carrot no not carrots bananas there should be seven that's on offer for five pounds and i knew if it was on offer i'd be 100 percent getting it there was only one of them so i am one bottle of drink short two pepsi max as you'll see, I've not bought any for weeks because I stocked up at Christmas. These are price matched to Aldi, so they're one seventy nine. Got four apple and elderflower from Tesco. Lucas Aid Sport, which is probably definitely not going to be enough to last me the week, but I've got to make do with whatever I can get because the four packs now are four pound and another one of them. Down here we have the coconut oil toilet rolls, which are on cool card offer. And down here. I got a 24 can of Diet Coke because they're on offer for £8. You only save two twenty five, but it's a saving. And it obviously works out cheaper because if I bought eight, what are they, four twenty five? Are you right? Okay. Okay. Um, and you only get eight, but this is going to last me three weeks. I'll just over. And I got the... Look at the dirty feet. Who's got dirty feet? 
It's you, isn't it? Yeah. Come in. Dirty little husky feet. Um, I got these. I'm struggling to get them through the week with just that. Oh, okay. Give me the paw then. There you go. You've got dirty, dirty feet. They're going to get cleaned when I finish this. Yes, they are. We're going to clean the feet. Yes. And that is everything that I've got that I can't show that I can show you. And um, the rest is in the fridge, which is gonna I've already decided as soon as I finish filming this, I'm gonna put it away and get the other stuff out. So there definitely will be a part two coming up in I don't know how many days, is it four or five days? So if you wanna see the chilled stuff and the frozen stuff, then definitely check that out. If you're new to my channel or you watch my videos but you're not subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to press the notification button to get an alert when I upload. I'll be back very soon. I hope you all have a wonderful week and thank you so much for watching.